Hello, Sam from Sound on Sound magazine here. I'm here at the AES show in New York. With me is Hutch Hutchinson of A Designs. Hello, Hutch. Hello, hello. A Designs are showing a fantastic looking new uh, mastering equalizer called the Finesse, which Hutch has designed here. It's in late prototype stage. Yes. Um, talk us through it. What's, what's special about this EQ? Uh, there's a whole bunch of uh, new fun things. It's digital controlled analog, so full analog signal path, but digital controlled so we can squeeze what would have normally been 30 or 35 knobs down to a single one use space. It also gives us the opportunity to do recalls and that kind of thing. Let me, let me just take you through some of the features and functions. Maybe that yes, would be the easiest. Yes, please do. Um, there's a toggle here for color. There's three different color settings. And up here in the GUI, each setting can be fully adjusted. Uh, various different transformer modes, including transformerless, transformer and feedback. Uh, so full range of color that way. There's a couple of soft clip options. Um, three more toggles for that. Plus the low band and the low mid band that can be switched into a vintage mode for a little bit more color that way, a little bit more character. And each of the three settings has its own bank of controls. So the end user can kind of customize the EQ into what they really want and what they kind of use. So it's a sort of ultimate flexible mastering equalizer. Yes. With all the controls stepped, presumably, as you wanted Absolutely. a mastering EQ, yes? That's, uh, that's the second definition of a mastering EQ. The first one being ultimate signal quality. It's got to be pristine and pure and wonderful as a bottom line. All this color stuff on top is just kind of add-on. Uh, trying to do it tastefully so it's in the range of useful parameters for mastering. Not over the top. And how many bands of equalization do we get? We get four bands, uh, plus high and low pass filters. Uh, each band can be bell or shelf. There's five different shelf curves per band, plus the cut can be symmetrical or asymmetrical. So you've got a few more flavors there. When you say symmetrical or asymmetrical, can you tell us what, a little bit about what that means? Uh, symmetrical is kind of the conventional way where the boost and, and the cut are mirror images of each other. Asymmetrical is uh, a different thing. It's kind of a rare treat in equalizers. There's not too many that have ever done it. But it sounds maybe a little bit more natural in a lot of cases. It's a little bit narrower, a uh, different shape more of a, a notched sort of a shape. So the shape changes when you go from boost to attenuation, is that the right, idea? Right, right. Oh, so it's a little bit narrower. Most people kind of tend to wider cues and boost, narrower cues and cut. So it kind of helps that automatically. Yeah, oh, very neat. Um, each band also can be 8 dB range with half dB steps or switch to a full 16 dB range with 1 dB steps. So there's pretty much nothing you can't do with uh, the finesse. Uh, yeah. It's got pretty much everything analog's ever done, plus, uh, for example, the wide Q settings are probably wider than has ever happened before. Um, very, very smooth musical. Um, in some of the tricks that we've been able to do by having a digital controlled, um, various high pass curves <laughs> including some that are resonant, a little bit of boost going on in the very low frequency, uh, through to a bunch of uh, Butterworth filters, and then tapering as you go higher into bezel filters. So smoother, uh, more useful. In other words, each, each frequency is kind of tailored curve. Wow, this sounds amazing. So when, we, when are we likely to be able to buy one of these? We're hoping in about four months. Okay, cool. And do you have an idea what sort of price it's going to come uh, to market at? Not yet. Not yet. A uh, lot less than most mastering EQs, more than probably like a standard uh, conventional EQ. Let's put it that way. Well, on a basis of price per function, it looks like it's going to be pretty good value. Oh, yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, thanks very much for your time, Hush. All right. That's great.